Hello, and welcome to the FLNG News Brief. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Carmen Fleischman. We begin this month on a somber note, honoring those who gave the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. Hundreds turned out to the St. Augustine National Cemetery just down the street from the Florida National Guard headquarters for Memorial Day ceremony on Monday. Guest Speaker, Adjutant General for Air, Brigadier General James Eifert, thanked those veterans in attendance for their service and remembered those who gave their mm -hmm. all. More often than not, our heroes are ordinary citizens, our neighbors and friends, those who answered the nation's call when we needed them most. Several miles away at Camp Blanding Joint Training Center, 99-year-old Frank Towers, a World War II veteran who received his pre-deployment training there, spoke about the importance of always remembering the sacrifice of the fallen. Many families made the soul-searching decision to have their beloved ones son, husband, or father, remain on foreign soil where they had fallen, along with their comrades, for the cause of freedom and liberty. Also at Camp Blanding this month, soldiers are keeping fit for duty with the help of a health and wellness program. A.J. Artley has more. On the first two days of wellness camp, the soldiers are weighed, taped, and take a diagnostic PT test to let them know exactly where they're starting and they also have an idea of what they want to work on. Uh, more of the running and dropping, you know, more pounds, of course, but more of the running because, unfortunately, last PT test, I wasn't able to make it. Probably a little more self-discipline when it comes to eating right, staying off the sweets and sodas and stuff like that, and probably cutting back on any kind of nicotine, tobacco use. For the next two weeks, they'll work on those things and even more. Every day begins with physical training in the morning, followed by nutrition and resiliency training in the afternoon. And if they have any questions of what this two-week course can do for them, they don't have to look far. We've got one student who was in the first wellness camp now working full-time for the Resilience Risk Reduction and Suicide Prevention Program. He's cadre at this wellness camp, and he's been such a motivational force for these students. Your feet may be together up to 12 inches apart. Staff Sergeant Ashley Lucas, so she volunteered to come to the last wellness camp. Um, she was a postpartum uh, on a pregnancy PT plan and she recognized that she needed to get herself back, not just to the standard, but uh, past the standard from where she was before. On day one, PFC Brian Torres said, The number one thing I want to focus on while I'm here is my run. And when I asked him on day 14 what the number one thing he'll be taking away from this class. Definitely hunt the good stuff. Always, whenever you're in a bad situation, just think about the positive things so it can get you out of that slump. So while most people think of wellness camp as a place to get back in shape, it's actually a place giving our soldiers the skills to get their military careers and their lives back on track. Reporting from Camp Landing, I'm A.J. Artley for the Florida National Guard. Always ready, always there. That's all for this month's edition of the FLNG News Brief. Reporting from the Florida National Guard Public Affairs Office, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Carmen Fleischman. We'll see you next time.